We are here with Shayna Baszler as we are going into SummerSlam, and I want to go back to this past Monday's Raw because we saw, uh, I thought, just these two incredible promotional videos leading up to this match. When you're sitting down and doing these interviews, obviously you don't know how the finished product is going to be, but when you got to see these videos as they aired on Raw, uh, what was your reaction to seeing them? So, I mean, do, so doing those interviews, I remember that it was like exhausting, right? Like when, when you go through that sort of emotion it's exhausting. And I remember being done, and I remember being done, and first of all, being like, I hope no one thinks I'm a wussy because uh, of how emotional we got. But um, how long were you, like, doing a, how long were you interviewed for this? Man, I wish you guys knew how long, like, a couple minutes takes to, to film. We're, uh, probably, I don't know, an hour or more, and then even all the prep that goes into it with the makeup and stuff. But it was, it was just a long and tiring day, and it was after uh, we'd had a long, full day, full few days. So, um, yeah, it's just I'm just glad people. It's resonating with people. I think that I've said this the whole time. Wrestling fans can can tell when you're faking the funk, and I think that you can tell we're not, and that's what's resonating with people. So. How did you feel the, the lead up was going up until th those videos? Because it's in, it really did strike a chord on Monday. Yeah, I mean, I think I think we've done a good job. I think every opportunity we've had, we've we've made gold out of it. We would always joke, even the time me and Rhonda were tag champs, we always joked that we were experts at making chicken salad. You know, chicken salad out of chicken shit. Uh, but um, I think we've done a good job, even even before Monday, of like taking these opportunities, and it's been like a little bit. You know, it's not, if it was up to us, we'd have had a ton of time and we could sit down and tell our whole story. Um, but we've, we, we've done well with what we've been given. And I think that that was kind of the final punctuation that made people be like, okay, now I want to see. It was interesting. Like you did bring up like your time on the ultimate fighter and feeling like here, like you've paid your dues. You shouldn't have to be going back to step one here. How do you reflect on, on, on that period of it being in the house and all these years later, like what you got out of that experience is a kind of just a distant memory. It seems like a whole different lifetime to be honest. But, um, I think now I think I've been through just like career wise, not age wise. I'm a lot more mature. I think that, um, I can look at this with like a different set of eyes because I have been through that stuff. And it's funny because, um, you know, if you go back and watch that show and I was the number one seed in the house and then I lost in the first fight and I remember sitting on the couch with Rhonda and they show it, um, her basically saying like, you were supposed to lose that fight, you know, and you don't know why right now. Um, but years from now, you're going to know that if you would have won, it wouldn't have gone the same and you're going to be thankful. Um, and I mean, look at us now. If I would have won, I would have been locked into a different contract. My career would have taken a different path and I maybe wouldn't be here. And, I, and I'm, I'm glad I'm here and I'm glad we're doing this now. So, you know, not to sound cliche, but like everything happens exactly the way it's supposed to happen. You just need to ride it out. Well, you have had such a unique journey because, um, you know, I, I have followed the majority of your MMA career and then been able to, to follow the move over to wrestling. And I remember seeing you at a, a small AIW show in Cleveland. And here's someone that put all of this effort, all of this work into one industry and then decides to move over. And you're starting at square one and having to work your way up. It's, it's very hard to move to an, a, a brand new industry and go after you've put in all the work elsewhere. Yeah, I, I, I've been, I always say I've been blessed to have two careers. Um, it's not often someone gets a career, and especially combat sports, it's a very short-lived uh, lifespan as compared to other sports. Um, I put everything into MMA, and I think I was just very blessed to have learned, you know, my catch wrestling being my specialty, which is like pro wrestling. Um, and my coaches, Josh and Billy, uh, just kind of set me up for this kind of Tra natural transition to pro wrestling and um, it, it was important to me to put time in uh, it was important to me to do it properly and go you know show up at AIW you ask you ask Thorne uh, he picked me up at the airport the first show and I was like what time's ring set up tomorrow um, so I never came in you know as like I'm the MMA I'm Shayna Baszler like it was never like that uh, and that's kind of the whole story we wanted to tell was like I I did everything I'm supposed to do I should be here and it should be me, so. My last question as we wrap up here, how much are you still 
paying attention to the mixed martial arts and sort of like the industry of it. And now that you're on the outside and have that perspective to be able to look at sort of the health of the industry, the, the uh, fighters as well, and like th their their benefits and, and how they're being treated. Yeah, I mean, I so I pay attention to the sport. Obviously, it's something that I spent a lot of time studying. It's where my area of expertise of knowledge would be. Um, if you check out my YouTube channel, I do a lot of uh, here's pro wrestling submissions and MMA uh, type stuff. Um, it's always been important to me to bridge that gap, so um, it's it's important that I stay on top of that. Um, and obviously, I still have friends in the industry. Um, everyone deserves to make more money for being punched in the face. Uh, but hopefully, as the sport grows and the popularity grows, that that happens. So, well, all the best going into this very big match for you, and congratulations on you. on your journey in both industries. Thank you. Thank you.